I'm Sarah McMahon. I'm from Dublin and I play the cello with the Irish Baroque Orchestra. So I have here with me today my Baroque cello, which was made in the 1730s in London by a maker called Thomas Smith. It's a member of the string family and like the violin and the viola, it's tuned in fifths. The open strings are A, D, G and C. difference between a baroque cello and a modern cello is probably the lack of spike or end pin at the end of the instrument and this is simply because they weren't in use at the time but we do know from paintings that occasionally players would rest the cello on a low footstool for support so I suppose the concept of an end pin evolved from this. Apart from this the most obvious difference in sound comes from the strings themselves these very special gut strings that we use which are made from sheep gut and they produce a very characterful and distinctive and colourful sound. Another interesting feature of historical performance is the bow and this is a very different shape from our modern tort model which is more concave and lends itself to more sustained and lyrical playing. This baroque bow is weighted more heavily at the frog in this lower half of the stick and this gives it a great life and spring um, so we can play these wonderful dancing bass lines with great energy. I started playing the cello when I was 10. I'd already been playing the piano for a few years by then, but I really wanted to join an orchestra and I love the sound of the cello. What I particularly love about playing historical cello is that I get to play bass lines all the time which is like playing in the engine room of the music and driving things along, and it's very exciting. My favourite music written for Baroque cello has to be the Six Suites by Bach. So here's the first bore from the third suite in C major. <laughs> 